for the ReCB, the best channel on YouTube. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Henry the Hoover. And you may be watching this video going, Reese, are you wearing the same shirt that you were in last week's video? And the answer is yes. No more questions. Let's get on to Henry the Hoover. Uh, I'm going to say the most famous vacuum cleaner of all time. It could be wrong. It could be an outlandish statement, but I'm going to say it. But there's more to this than just Henry. I've got the entire family here. Here we go. So we've got, of course, Henry and Hetty, the two most famous Hoovers. Then there is Charles, George, James, Harry, Basil, Edward, David, Wendy, Bertie, John, Lewis, and Jack. The entire Hoover family are here. But where does this begin? Well, let me tell you. There was once a man called Charles Duncan, who was the creator of this brand, and he had made his little Hoover there. It was mainly for just cleaning in smaller places, and... He was in a trade show in the mid-1970s, and he got very bored. So he kind of just decided to dress up one of his hoovers. He put, like, a hat on it, he put a bow around it, and then he got some chalk and he just drew a face on it. And people just seemed to love it. And they asked if they could buy one, and eventually he put them on the market, and he called them Hen. Now, Henry the Hoover is not just a funny face, but also is actually proved to be quite important, because, um... The Hoover is very popular with children, and they use it a lot in uh, children's hospital wards to kind of uh, help children. It's a friendly looking face. It's very popular with autistic children as well. Uh, there's been a lot of work done between the company and autistic uh, charities. Apparently there was rumours going around that cleaners who would work late night shifts if they got lonely would talk to henry because he's got that lovely face on him they would just feel more comfortable talking to him and that would help them get through the night shift which i think is a wonderful story and these hoovers they're around about a hundred quid which i don't know for hoovers if that's i think that's reasonable i'm not a hoover expert but i think that is reasonable and as of 2021 Charles Duncan, the man who we spoke at the start, who got bored one day and put some chalk face on a Henry Hoover, is now worth £150 million. So, you know, you start putting faces on everything, is what I say. If you've got a household appliance and you needed to sell more, put, put a face on it. That could be fun. But with the popularity of Henry... Some weird stuff comes along as well. Uh, there was the very famous uh, video from Russell Howard's Good News, I think it was, of Henry the Hoover uh, snorting some cocaine, which is a bit weird. But I found something that might be even more weird. I found a Henry the Hoover raunchy fanfic on the internet. And I'm going to read it to you now. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm about halfway through, so you know, the full story's not ruined for you, but here we go. <clears throat> I quickly closed the curtains. I didn't want anyone to see the things I could do with Henry's cleaning ability. I pushed his <laughs> into the socket and switched him on. As he let out a sound whilst I was hoovering, my mind wandered. What else could I do? I gazed into his big blue plastic anime eyes. My <laughs> had met its point. I was in need. I looked at his suction pole and allowed him to <laughs> causing me to explode <laughs> inside his tube. I yelled, screaming his name. I couldn't stop giving him my <laughs> It was making me feel a sensation that no other woman could, not even my ex-wife. I was happily enjoying it until he stopped working. I did a crisp brown and whacked it a few times, but nothing happened. I took his fragile body and decided to dress him in the most cute outfit I'd ever seen. I placed him in the box. I couldn't stand to see him in such condition. I left him in the corner of my room for a few good days before concluding on what I should do next. 
to be continued. That was a bit weird. I didn't like that. Let's end it here. I know it's been a short video this week, but you know, it's been jam packed. So, like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>